Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to write Verilog code in Xilinx software. So before moving to video, so if you like this video, please share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe friends. So at first go to file, click on new project, give any name to the project, I'll give it as first, fine. I'll give it as EC. Next, click on next. Okay, it is asking me whether I can overwrite, so I'll write yes. Okay, so here you need to select Verilog because we are writing in Verilog. So, next, the vertex it should be vertex 4. Click on next, finish. then your project has been created next step is to create the verilog file right click on this dot ec click on new source and select verilog module and give it any name so i am giving inverter so click on next so inverter has one input and one output Select this as output, click on next, finish. Now it has written the code. Now I should write the logic inside this. So the steps to write that is type assign space b is the output. So b space is equal to space not of a semicolon close. So our first program is ready. Save this. Next, you need to write test bench for this. So before that, we'll check for any syntax error. Okay, green symbol signifies there is no syntax error. So next, if you want, you can click on view RTL schematic. When you click this RTL uh, schematic, click on OK. Select the second option, start with schematic of the top level block. OK. So this is uh, your schematic of, our, of your inverter. If you double click on this, you will get to know what are the components inside our block. So it is a simple NOT gate. So close this. So next, you need to create a test bench also to run our code to get the simulation results so right click on this click on new source and here you need to select verilog test fixtures click on that and give any name for it so i'll giving test so click on next fine so since there is only one file in my project so it is displaying only inverter if there were two it used to dis it, it will display both the file names so click on inverter and next finish so your test page code will be written so you need to do the modification where you want your uh, signal bit a should be high or low after this 100 this means at first a is 0 then after uh, hash 100 second what should happen so i'll write a bit must be equal to 1 after 100 nanoseconds next after 200 nanoseconds after 200 nanoseconds a bit should be equal to 0 sorry 0 hold a second a bit should be equal to 0 and this will be equal equal to space 1 semicolon close space 0 semicolon close done with this okay uh, if you want you can include still more values but since this is for demo so i'm including only two values so click on 
hold a second so a space is equals to space 0 semicolon done save this once you save this click on simulation click on this file so now you can check the behavioral syntax okay here it is showing process behavioral check syntax con completed successfully before that i need to tell you something see this your inputs are written as register in test bench and outputs are written as wire so this we are mapping our previous code that is inverter code with this we are mapping over here so rest of the steps are explained next you need to click on simulate behavior model double click on it okay so it is uh, showing us still at what time it has run so we don't want this time so we'll click on fit to the screen or zoom, or zoom full view so here you can see okay we'll shift this okay so here you see a is an input so when it is zero oh sorry when so when it is one the output is zero because we are taking note of it so as soon as as soon it becomes one sorry it becomes zero our input turns to be one if you click on this you will be coming to, you will be coming to know see this v value is zero and input is one click over here input is zero so output will be one so likewise uh, you can try different programs so if you have any doubts please comment below so i'll be uh, i'll be happy to solve your queries so thank you guys thank you for uh, thank you for your time